There. There's the bottom of our tube. Now I can take this ring right off. I'll save that. And apparently that ring comes right off too. Now the whole tube is mobile. Set that up on end. And pull that. It's important not to lever against anything glass. This is rather delicate. There we go. You get it right and it just pops right out. And now, now there's something else holding it in that we don't readily see. I think it's under this. Yep. Got a wire in here. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. And there, now this is all lead and copper, so that'll bear further explanation. Now this is the actual x-ray tube. And it is beautiful. It is labeled G1077 and then 10373-20. And those are hand labeled letters on there. So this isn't your average everyday vacuum tube. This is, this is a little bit of art. This is really cool. Now, you'll notice that I'm turning this, but see the little weights there? The, the little drill marks? Can, can you spot those? See the little marks here? See those? Those are drilled in to remove weight, to balance it. And you'll notice as I roll this, they don't move. That's because the inside is an armature of a motor. And the way this works is the, the fil filament end and electron gun is at this end. So you're shooting electrons across. So this, this would be the, the um, cathode end and this would be the anode end and you're shooting electrons across, and in the center here, you can't see it because it's, it's hidden under all this copper shielding, but there's a target, and it's a, a big chunk of tungsten, and when it hits that, it shoots off x-rays. So the tungsten is a, a big wheel. Here, I can draw it so you can see it. Don't, don't leave. Okay, here's how it works. You have your filament comes in like that, and then you've got a target shaped like this. And this is all inside the glass envelope. So your electrons are shooting off like this, and you've got a 45 degree angle, so when they hit here, these high energy electrons hit and they give off particles. And this is your, your gamma radiation, your, your x-rays, which come out the window. And the window is right there. There's, there's your window where they come out. So this is an x-ray tube and the only way to show you guys inside is really to break the glass and I'd really rather not do that on this particular video but if uh, I come across another x-ray tube I'll break the glass and show you guys inside. So that's, that's the inside of an x-ray head. That's the basics of it and here's an actual x-ray tube. So now you guys can say that you've seen an actual x-ray tube. So yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching. Um, if anybody's interested in learning more about this stuff, we'll put some notes on the website. Um, feel free to comment with any questions you might have. And if anybody sends in a donation for, oh, let's say $100 donation, okay? First person who sends in a donation to the Geek Group for $100 or more, um, we will send you this beautiful x-ray tube. I will pack this up and ship it off to you. We'll even clean the oil off it first. So, yeah, you guys should donate because we're here to teach kids about science and technology and we're having fun and we're doing equipment autopsy today. So that's the fun. So, yeah, check it out. Info at thegeekgroup.org. You can check out the website, www.thegeekgroup.org. And, yeah, come on down. Be a part of this. Come check us out. If you're ever in Kalamazoo, you know, come, come hang out at the lab. We'll put you in a video. If you build projects and take things apart and stuff like that and you're a geek, then you're welcome here. That's what we do. And we'll even make a video with your project. If you've got something cool to show off and you want to share it with the world,
world, come on down, we'll make a video with you, because this is fun, this is what we do. And this is an x-ray tube, so now you know where x-rays come from. I'm Chris Bowden, you guys have fun, we'll see you next time. See ya.